Hello and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and I'm here to bring you the news, guys. I want to thank everyone uh, that's been joining the channel. The last two days has been explosive growth. I appreciate you guys coming on board and enjoying this crazy and wild ride that is the cryptocurrency and blockchain space. Um, in the news today, top in the charts for sure, and something that we all want to you know keep our eyes peeled on is we've got Nevada taking a uh, stance on blockchain um, as far as uh, they, they don't, you know, taxes and things of that nature. So um, let me go ahead and bring that up. So basically what's going on is Nevada is the first state to basically ban blockchain taxes, which is kind of a quirky uh, way of stating it. But um, they basically have, um, the local government has decided to uh, ban any taxing of blockchain use. So that's really interesting. So it's like, they're making sure that if you use the blockchain, you won't be taxed, essentially. So I'm not sure what the play here is. Um, I think that the play is to get, um, to get new companies to come in there new blockchain companies uh, you know trying to be the new Silicon Valley they have a ton of space in Nevada <laughs> lots of desert to build out underground servers and keep things cool under there right and uh, huge data centers and they have the, they have everything that they need they have plenty of electricity cheap electricity from the nearby dams if they if they choose to make it cheap, um, I'm not. I don't live there. I'm not aware if the taxes are affordable or not. But um, you know, something to keep your uh, eyes peeled about. I was telling my wife today. I was like, well, so we uh, we probably need to move to Nevada. She's like, I ain't moving to Nevada. Well, I'm moving to Nevada. <laughs> Went something like that, anyways. Um, so yeah, Nevada is uh, forward thinking there, and uh, one of the first uh, states to really make a big leap when it comes to blockchain technology. Um, so that's exciting. That's super exciting. Um, what else we got in the news? Uh, stocks in Japan. This one's really interesting. So there's a lot of companies out there that have actually been in cryptocurrency investing in it or dabbling in it or even setting you know reserves aside um, in Bitcoin, essentially. Um, and maybe in NEM, right? There, uh, since this is uh, happening in Japan, but basically the stocks are blowing up right now over there. Um, the huge increase in Bitcoin. Um, there's also big, we're talking huge money. We're talking, you know, it's, it's like some large financial institutions are like moving money into the space really early right now, right? Like this is their aggressive growth like play, right? Like if you have a 401k, and you actually do what you should do and go look at it and actually choose what you want to put your money into. Um, if you're young, especially, you should be trying to be aggr as aggressive as possible, right? Um, with that money, because you probably don't have a lot. And if you were to lose it all, you have your whole life to get it back. So hopefully you're being aggressive if you're young, um, getting that massive growth. And uh, the last few years have probably been good for you if, you, if you've been like that, but... Japan, uh, it, it seems like that, you know, one of the ones that I can pick in my 401k is international uh, growth stocks, right? I would like to think that that's some of the money coming into the market right now that, you know, uh, in, a, in a quirky, weird way, my money is somehow going around the world and into these markets. Uh, I want to believe that anyways, but don't know if that's true. But somewhere out there, there's some financial institution that's putting a huge amount of money. This is not a joke anymore, guys. Um, the surge in those particular uh, stocks is very clear, very correlated to the big pump we had. That was a lot of money entering the market, essentially, right? That big pump. Um, those things don't just happen on accident. It takes a, it takes some pressure. Like, guys, that was massive Bitcoin movement, like massive. And the support level went way, way up, meaning that in case a whale or someone wanted to take profits or sell, sell out or something like that, they were, you know, that financial institution was willing to buy in at that price and things like that. So, um, anyhow, that's only uh, theoretical. 
hypothetical. I'm just kind of making all that up and what I think was going on. But um, the stocks, same time, um, just getting pumped. Uh, so, you know, it's about uh, 743 here right now, which means markets over there have been open probably, what, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. So, um, yesterday at this time, at that time, that's when everything blew up. So just keep that in mind, guys, that uh, you always want to be watching the markets right around 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. West Coast time. Sorry for your East Coasters. You guys got to stay up really late if you want to um, enjoy some of these rides that happens from the pumping. Um, just to uh, give you a quick update, um, it doesn't look like we uh, are seeing a lot of movement in uh, Ethereum, although it is at uh, 0.092 Bitcoin. While Bitcoin is still up 3.27% over yesterday, which is fantastic news. So uh, right now the markets are up overall. And, uh, you know, we hit an, an all-time high today of about just under 2,900. Some, some exchanges may have hit 2,900. And uh, that's where the markets are as far as Bitcoin goes. And that's what you got to be. You got to be watching that, guys. Bitcoin is a very critical indicator for no matter which coin you're, inter you're interested in or you're invested in. I know a ton of people on my channel love Ethereum. Um, and so you got to you have to know Bitcoin, too, guys. It's a it's an early indicator. It's going to help you succeed. It's going to protect you in case things get cray cray. So just keep that in mind. OK, what else we got? We've got uh, AMD stock through the roof. So AMD, if you're not familiar, is a chip manufacturer. Um, they specialize in uh, all kinds of chips. For a long time, they've kind of been going this route of focusing on mobile devices, uh, GPUs and CPUs in one, basically, uh, combining those to make a lot of like phone and tablet computer, uh, you know, chips, basically. Um, but they've kind of got back into the real space, uh, trying to go head to head with in Intel again and starting to come out with some new exciting chips. All that being said, um, they have some uh, graphic cards that are ideal for mining, ideal especially for Ethereum mining. And um, right now they're sold out all over the world. You cannot find one. Um, you know, they're selling online for over retail right now. Um, it's crazy right now. I'm trying to get my hands on some myself. I'd like to have some more mining equipment. And uh, building a, a miner right now is uh, crazy expensive. It is not cost effective right now. Uh, missed, missed the opportunity. I'm hoping and praying I walk into a store and see just one. Because just one would be fantastic right now um, at retail price. It would be crazy. So uh, AMD stock is through the roof. A lot of people last week started putting money into that. So... Uh, that's all. It's all good. Um, sorry, I've got a I've got a GPU in the background here that's overheating a little bit. It's a hot day. It's hot in my office right now. I uh, I turn off uh, you know my cooling and everything to so I can so you guys can hear me better. Um, so it gets a little hot. I accidentally left my uh, accidentally left uh, my grid coin mining going on so i've been doing some grid coin mining contributing to the sciences of the world and um i actually kind of wanted to give you a cool little little update a little story on on that because if you guys have been on this channel you know that i've been trying to find extraterrestrials i'm helping seti they're using my processing power right now to uh search through uh sound waves of what out whatever's out there in space so um, you know, whatever they can, uh, as long as I'm getting some money back. Right. So honestly, I'm actually not making really anything guys. Um, I don't believe it's very cost effective for the machine I'm doing. I do it for the education. I do it for the nerding out. I do it for truly understanding what, um, the future of cloud computing looks like projects like Golem, right? There's another project coming out this week. S O M N. I don't know how to pronounce that. Som, Som. Um, that's another cloud computing. They do a fog computing solutions as well. And I'll talk about that some other time, but, um, that's what I do when I'm bored. <laughs> I don't know. Guys. So that's what I've been nerding out on. But, um, 
I kind of wanted to tell you this because this hit the news today. So, um, back in 1977, which is the greatest year to be alive because Star Wars came out and the Trailblazers won uh, the championship that year. So, if there's any year to ever be alive, 1977 was it. That being said, also in 1977, there was um, this scientist guy basically listening to the stars. And on his data, there was this crazy, ridiculous noise that happened. Um, and ever since 1977, everyone has always believed that it was coming from a local star system, essentially, with something nearby. And it's always been believed that, that that was the proof of life. It was real. And so, you know, and this was actually a part of the SETI program back then, which is crazy, right? I'm, I'm, I'm being a part of it now. It's been around for a long time. Anyhow, uh, it basically the sound wave lasted 72 seconds. Um, and it was so crazy that the guy wrote, wow, the scientist wrote, wrote, wrote it down. He put, wow, right on the piece of paper that he printed off, essentially, and it was forever known as the WOW signal. And uh, hardcore uh, astronomy nerds and uh, things like that, they talk about the WOW signal because it's always been this thing where it's like, oh my gosh, aliens are real. Well, someone extremely smart went back through the records of all the known like comets and things like that in our, in our system, was able to actually figure out that... Um, you know, he backtracked it through time. Uh, he actually figured out that it was probably one or two of these meteors or whatever, right? Flying through the sky. I think it was a comet, to be exact. Sorry. So, um, the comets that he was looking at had only been discovered in 2006. So, you know, you fast forward all the way to 2006. Um, that's when we finally are like, ah, okay. Here's some comets. He backtracks it and says, ah, it was probably one of these comets. So in order to prove it, he literally uh, pointed the, the instruments to the exact same location. The, um, the rotation of those comets is every seven years, exact same time. Essentially, he confirmed it. He debunked it. It is 100% not aliens. It was just comets going by. No aliens, guys. You heard it here first on Do News. There are no aliens. Um, but my computer's looking for them while I'm doing this video right now. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. So, grid, coin, grid coin's cool. I'm going to do a video on it at some point. Um, that's another reason I've been nerd now. I've had some people show some interest in it. A lot of people are fascinated by it because you can actually do some of this mining. Um, and it helps people wrap their brain around what the future of Golem is going to be like. Because that's the one that's fascinating to everybody. Okay. Um, that is it, but well, there's one last thing I want to give, um, I hope you say, I hope I'm saying your name right, Gareth, it's Gareth, right? You'll have to correct me, but Gareth is a longtime viewer, one of my first viewers on this channel, and, uh, he made me aware of a website that I highly suggest all of you try out. So I, t everyone probably know, knows CoinMarketCap, we all know CoinMarketCap, you learn about CoinMarketCap pretty early on in this experience. Um, of cryptocurrency blockchain technology, but he has one that's called coincap.io And it is really good I'm not gonna go and try to tell you or convince you that it's better one's better than the other because you know This is a we live in a world where people have prefer preferences, right? Um, but I'm a huge fan huge fan uh, so thank you for pointing this out um it's much more in real time. It just updates itself, so you don't have to, you know, you could actually monitor it at work, right? If you wanted to set it up on a screen or have you, you have an extra screen. I'm super excited because I just got uh, my new screens in. Um, as you guys invest your time into me, um, you guys get me excited about this channel. I went out and I invested more into uh, being more productive um, in getting you more news. Um, also, just being able to um, in improve the quality of... Um, you know, delivering the news by having multiple screens and have everything set up real nicely, things like that. So I've got, I'm going to have three monitors set up here soon, um, some nice 27 inches. I'm going to have some serious real estate to bring you guys some serious news. And I'm really excited about it. So, uh, we're, you know, um, we hit a thousand and that blew my mind and we are 
going at such an acceleration. I, I don't want to lose that momentum, guys. So I'm, I'm investing in this, um, in it, I'm in it with you, and uh, I really appreciate your guys' time. Um, I want to thank everybody that stopped by the live streams yesterday to, to celebrate with me, um, and also to celebrate the $100 billion uh, mark. That's history. We, we made a history, and now it's holding. We're, you know, It makes me wonder, is that the new resistance now that we broke through? It took so long to break through, um, and we finally did it. And then uh, I just, you know, if this is the new low, then, you know, we'll all be on the moon before you know it, right? All right, guys. So if you like this video, give me a like. Uh, leave a comment for sure. I love, uh, man, the conversations have been awesome um, the last week. Definitely leave a comment. I try to answer any questions and uh, have conversations. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. I, I do it before I do my homework. I sit down and start talking with you guys because it gets me amped up. And sometimes you guys actually give me the best news. You guys point me to things that I didn't know about, and I'm like, wow, the world needs to know about this. we got to start talking about this. And So a lot of this channel is a, is, is, is a community channel. It's what you guys bring to me. I'm learning from you. I'm, try, I'm hoping you learn something from me. And that's what it's about. So we're having a good time on this channel, and I appreciate everyone that's been a part of it so far. Um, uh, and uh, I hope you guys keep coming back. And if you enjoy this content, hit subscribe. Check out some more videos. Um, and uh, I'll always be here for you. I uh, want to thank everyone for their, all the donations. It's getting kind of crazy. I really appreciate it uh, so much. Um, it helps justify time away from my wife, and that's important. I also have a kid who needs to go to college someday. So I'd like to think that you guys are uh, paying for my daughter's college, and um, man, that, that strikes deep with me. So I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. I really hope college gets disrupted very soon, because it goes up in price exponentially, but the quality goes down. So I hope that changes soon, and I hope, I hope somebody wrecks that industry. I believe in decentralized education. It's going to happen, guys. I'll do another video on that sometime for you. Okay. So, that's it, guys. As always, uh, head on over to Steemit and upvote me. Um, your guys' support on Steemit has blown my mind. Um, the amount of Steem that I've made is extremely respectable, and I'm extremely grateful. Um, and I really appreciate it when you do that. It also helps to spread the channel on Steemit. Um, I've got a nice little community. I've got a nice little following over there, about 150 already. And that's pretty good for that, for that platform um, this quickly. So I really appreciate you guys. So keep keep on uh, keeping on over there. Leave some good comments over there. I try to upvote every comment on mine as well. So I try to share the love back. Give you guys a little free free steam just for saying hi. So all right, guys, um, that's it for today. Really appreciate you guys so much again. And as always, I am the King of Dew, and may the Force be with you.